Mac fans, it's time for another edition of Mac Weekly. I'm Megan Clementi. It was another busy week of matching on the hardwood, so we're going to kick things off with Wednesday night when Akron traveled to the Convocation Center to face Eastern Michigan. For Akron head coach Keith Danbrot, it was his 500th career game coaching. What did he get the W? The Zips came out on fire in the first half, opening up the game on a 10-0 run. They would go into intermission leading 39-19 behind 66.7% shooting from beyond the arc. In the second half, Jake Kretzer and Demetrius Treadwell would continue their torrid play to lead the Zips to a 78-68 victory. Kretzer would score a career-high 25 points, while Treadwell would finish the evening with 18 points, 11 boards, and a career-high 5 block shots. Thursday found two Mac West women division rivals facing off, Ball State and Toledo. Toledo established their dominance early, building a 9-point lead after this Brianna Jones lay-in. The Rockets held one of the best three-point shooting teams in the conference to 23.5% shooting from the field. With their strong defense and solid play from junior in Manzanagara, Toledo cruised to a 73-61 win. Zanagara finished the contest with 16 points and 4 assists. The Ball State men were also in action on Thursday as they welcomed the Buffalo Bulls to the John E. Worthen Arena. This game was a back and forth affair as this contest featured 15 ties and 10 lead changes. With less than 50 seconds left in the game, Ball State's Franco House hits a J to put the Cardinals up 69-67. Ball State would not relinquish the lead and would win this one 71-68. Senior Jesse Berry came off the bench to pour in 21 points and 4 assists. In Eastern Michigan's second game of the week, they hosted Ohio, and they came out determined to have a different result from earlier in the week. Jalen Ross finds Glenn Bryant, he drains the jumper, and Eastern Michigan builds a 9-point lead. The Eagles would enter halftime up by 8. In the second half, the Bobcats turn things around, and with a minute 36 left in the contest, Maurice Endor ties the game at 55-all. Then, with less than 30 seconds remaining in the game... Willis for the lead for Ohio. Ohio wins the game 58-56, with Endor leading the way with 7 points, 14 boards, and 2 blocks. In Sunday's men's action, Kent State and Toledo battled on the hardwood. We pick up the action late in the second half, and the game is tied at 70. That wouldn't last long, as Justin Drummond finds J.D. Weatherspoon, who finishes with an emphatic flush. Not to be outdone, Kent State's Chris Brewer finds Kalik Spicer, who also knows how to finish. The Rocket lead is now cut to two. Julius Brown with the lay-in with 16 seconds left in the game, and Toledo would go on a win 81-78. to Every week we take a look at the top players, and this week is no different. Here are the men's players of the week. And your women's players of the week. That'll do it for this edition of Mac Weekly. Remember, for all the latest on your favorite Mac teams, stay connected to mac-sports.com. I'm Megan Clementine, and I'll see you right here next week.